Well, you clicked on this video today because you want to find out the difference between an architectural shingle and a three tab shingle. I, I didn't pick this color by the way. Okay, so in this video today, we're going to talk about five different subjects comparing an architectural shingle to a three tab shingle. The first one we're going to talk about is price because that's most important, right? The second we're going to talk about is durability and longevity. The third thing we're going to talk about is installation. The fourth thing we're going to talk about is warranty. And the last is cosmetics or aesthetics of the roofing system. I promise I'll go back pretty quick, but I do want you to know the difference between the two. Let's get started. So I apologize about this being a little dark because, well, my studio lighting is not working, so we're having to use natural light for the sun. But let's get into price, the difference between architectural and three tab. And the reason we're gonna use the board on this one is because I want you guys to be able to see why the architectural shingle costs a little bit more, but we're gonna get into why it does and how the price difference isn't really that big of a deal. Okay, so when we do roofing, we talk, we use what's called squares. I've got another video that I'm gonna be doing about what a square is and why we use it. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to call most residential roofs are anywhere between 30 and 40 squares. So just so you can see how the math kind of works, we'll use 40 since that's a nice easy number to use on this project. Okay, so our roof, that we're doing is, we'll call it 40 squares, okay? All right, so architectural versus three tab. Now this is again, contractor price. This is necessarily adding in, you know, what we have to pay for labor and, and our licensing and taxes. We're just talking about material price in between the two. All right, so in 2020, you're gonna pay about $20 per bundle for a three tab shingle versus about, uh, we'll say $25 for a bundle of architectural. So it's really, you know, that much, not that much difference when we're talking about per bundle. Okay, so we're gonna do bundle, bundle. Okay, so you need three bundles to make a square. So we're gonna multiply this by three. Obviously it gives us $60 per square. And here we're talking about 75. Oh, we'll just do square. Okay. All right, so again, we need 40 squares on each one of our, and again, this is just the shingles, not talking about your end limit and all this other stuff. This is just the shingles, okay? So that's gonna come out to $2,400 for shingles. And then again, this is our three tab. And architectural, we're gonna multiply this by 40. I know those kids this day have these new weird tricks they do with their, uh, their numbers, but we go old school. So that's 28, so we're talking about 3,000, okay? So we're talking about a price difference of only about $600. Sorry, my writing is kind of bad. For you to use a higher product or a better product in an architectural shingle. So just so you guys can see, it's really not that much more expensive to go with architectural shingles. Now let's get on with the rest of the video so you can see why it's a better option most of the time to go with an architectural shingle roof. Again, I did not pick out the color, but the next segment is my durability. Now, how is architectural shingles more durable? Well, it's really simple. So we're gonna start off the architectural shingle. So look up on the graphic on the screen. So architectural shingles, 
typically you're gonna get a warranty and we're gonna go over this a little bit further in the video but they're supposed to last anywhere from 30 to 50 years now do they actually last that long normally not because there's a lot of different factors if you're somewhere like we are in Alabama it gets really hot in the summer it gets cold enough in the winter and you know we get a lot of rain and sometimes we get snow and it freezes over the point is, is that it doesn't last as long as what it says 30 to 50 years but it's still a good architectural shingled roof that has been installed incorrectly and hasn't you know taken a ton of damage from hell and wind can last anywhere from you know 20 to 30 years it can versus a three tab shingle roof you're looking at best you're getting 15 to 20 years out of them that's just typically how long they last no matter where they're at in the country now there could be some you know anomalies to those numbers but that's your average what you're going to get the next thing is just really the ratings against hell and wind that you get with a architectural shingle versus a three tab shingle for an architectural shingle now of course they have class four and stuff like that that's a you know can withstand up to a golf ball size hill but architectural shingles are still a little bit more resistant to hell than a regular three tab and wind ratings for architectural shingles normally start at about 110 miles per hour and goes up to about 130 depending on what nail pattern and the manufacturer but the the range is typically anywhere we'll say on the very low end down to 90 up to 130 versus on a three tab it's typically will start off on a when I say three tab that could be a what they call a 20 or 25 year shingle it can be anywhere from 50 miles per hour up to maximum you may get up to a 90 mile per hour wind rating with a three tab so wind rating for sure architectural shingles have a they're just more durable so that's really the big difference between the two in terms of durability both of them have similar nail patterns you can both put you know six nails per shingle if you want to uh, all of them needs to have a minimum of four uh, but it's really up to the manufacturer uh, again that's something you want to make sure your contractor knows before getting up on the roof but in terms of durability an architectural shingle is in my opinion a, a much better buy particularly just how much it costs more it's just not that much okay so the next thing we're talking about is installation now one of the great things about an architectural shingle versus a three tap shingle is the crews the guys who actually install these things like architectural shingles way better uh, they don't have to pop lines like they do on a three tap shingle and if you don't know what popping lines are that's okay just know it's a method that the roofers use to line everything up so with a three tap shingle everything has to be a thousand percent straight because anything that's off on these is looks as looks looks really bad cosmetically and you have to make sure that you line up your keys correctly and all this stuff well that can be a pain in the butt for the installers versus an architectural shingle roof obviously the guys may still pop lines when they when they install these but you don't have to be you still have to be accurate when you're installing these of course but your lines can look off just a hair and no one notices and it's not going to affect the performance of the shingle now you want it obviously as straight as possible and i recommend my crew is always to pop lines but they like to install the architectural shingles way better so in terms of installation your crews are always going to pick architectural shingles so then the fourth thing we're going to talk about is warranties now we touched on a little bit on warranties earlier when we talked about the durability of the shingles but we'll start off the warranties that you get from an architectural shingle roofing system so a lot of contractors are in shingle programs we've been in gafs in the past ikos in the past uh, tamcos in the past uh, so we've been in a, several different shingle manufacturers uh, warranty programs and i'm not going to spend this video talking about which one's better or whatever but we're just going to talk about they do exist and a lot of roofing contractors particularly your good roofing contractors are going to be in some kind of shingle program well there's some good you know bonuses to that those shingle programs if your contractor installs the the typical way is a architectural shingle with some of the accessories uh, it's normally three or more they're going to be able to offer a better warranty there's not really a whole lot of extra warranties you're going to get from a three tab shingle some of the warranties are prorated to five years some of them are prorated to 10 years but your standard warranties are still going to be about the same for both of them but there's very few shingle manufacturers that offer anything bonus uh, by having a goodness contractor installing it a, a contractor in their program 
versus an architectural shingle roofing system, you're not only probably gonna get a longer warranty from the manufacturer, but you also are probably gonna get a longer labor warranty from the, the contractors. Most of my buddies who install these systems uh, will offer a anywhere from a two year to a 10 year labor warranty if they get to install you know, one of the better end architectural shingle roofing systems on your roof. So that's something definitely to keep in mind when you're choosing between architectural shingle and three tab. Last but not least, cosmetics. Now for some of you guys, you may have a roof kind of similar to mine where there's only a, a certain, actually one side of my house that you can actually see the shingles really well from. And for some people, the aesthetics really doesn't matter that much. And you know, just like we talked about, if you install a three tab system, but then you make sure you have ice water shield and you have starter shingles, you have you know, brand new you know, boots, brand new vents, whatever, that shingle still can last a very long time. It could still last in excess of 20 years, it could. So some people don't wanna spend a little bit extra money. And there are some people who actually like the look of a three tab shingle over architectural. Now, that's, they're in the minority. Most people like the look of an architectural shingle roof. I like the look of the architectural shingle roof, particularly ones that's got the uh, high end ridge cap. I think it really makes the, the whole roof pop. And if you live in a really nice neighborhood, you know, your roof, when you're driving down the street, can be the difference of you still being able to sell that house versus your neighbor getting their whole household for more than you and faster. So some people really care about the way the roof looks. Some people don't. Some people just say, hey, flap up some shingles. I'm going to be living here for 20 more years anyway. But in my opinion and the opinion of most people out there, uh, the cosmetic or aesthetic look of a architectural shingle is far superior to that of a three tab. Okay, that's it. So we looked at architectural shingles versus three tab shingles. I gave you the five different categories that we talked about and a little bit about each one of them. We talked about price, we talked about the durability, we talked about the, what's number three? Um, crew installation, we talked about uh, your warranty that comes with it. And then finally, we talked about the appearance or the cosmetics of the two shingle systems. Whew. We went through a lot. I hope you learned something from this video. If you enjoyed it, guys, please give us a thumbs up. It really, really helps out our channel a lot. And if you like our content, please give us a subscribe. You can always check us out at our website at digitalroofingcompany.com in our blog section. And as always, Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with the traditional values. Have a great day.